Hey you guys, thank you so much for clicking on this video. For those of you that are subscribed, welcome back. And for those of you that aren't, um, continue to watch the video. If you like my videos and you like, you know, you want to see more content that I'm going to be putting out in the weeks to come, definitely hit that subscribe button. And um, thank you, just thank you for clicking on the video. So today I'm just going to speak briefly and quickly and um, about the brushes that I use, give you guys suggestions on the cheapest brushes and the best cheap brushes that you can purchase and this video is typically for your average beginner that may you know just be starting out or just may want just information on brushes this video is for you so without further ado i'm just gonna jump right into the video um number one as far as like the cheapest well they're all cheap brushes but as far as the cheapest i would say is the elf brushes they're very good uh let me grab them I have some right here. They're very good brushes, but the only thing is, is you get what you pay for. Um, some of my brushes have last a very long time because you know I switch all the time between brushes. Some of them have lasted me a very long time and some of them haven't. And um, the only thing is, as I stated, the brushes you get what you pay for, like this brush right here. Um, you see the bristles are coming out and I think I barely use this brush, but, and, um, yeah, you get what you pay for. I barely use this brush and the bristles are coming out. But again, I wouldn't I would not suggest I wouldn't not suggest them because they're just that good. Um, especially again for beginners. And um what I the majority of the brushes that I use from e.l.f. are like blending brushes. You can never have too many blending brushes. Well you kinda can. When it comes to cleaning up, you be mad. You got all these brushes, but anyway. Um, the majority of the time I use, uh, the e.l.f. Blend, blending brushes and these are typically what they look like. These are all dense blending brushes and with e.l.f. what I do like is that they let you know which brush, you know, which brush, uh, is which at the tip of the brush. And another, um, con about these brushes is that they can detach, the body can detach from the head. That can become a pain. But it happened to me a couple of times and I kind of just glued it back together or whatever, you know, because I wasn't paying 60 and $80 for brushes. So this is just what I do. And also another frequently used brush that I use from e.l.f. is a small stippling brush. I use it to just kind of touch up on certain areas. It's not too dense and you see the bristles aren't, I mean, this is dirty, which is pretty trifling, but hey, I didn't feel like cleaning it. The bristles are, they're pretty dense, but the bristles are loose. If that makes any sense, I don't know. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. But the um, e.l.f. brushes are the cheapest. They run for about, I think, a dollar, two dollars. I don't know. I'm going to have the pictures of the brushes and whatnot and the prices either on this side or this side of me. And yeah, that was the first set of brushes that um, I wanted to talk about just to briefly touch on. The first, um, the cheapest are the e.l.f. brushes. And um, the second cheap, cheapest, I can say, are these brushes that I use. They are the Jessup brushes. I don't know. You can probably find them on Amazon, but I think I bought these from eBay. And the crazy thing about it is I bought them probably about five, six years ago. And I'm still using them to this day, which is ridiculous. And I think I only paid about $2 for a complete set. Um, and also, I didn't mention it about the e.l.f. brushes. But the e.l.f. brushes, they come in typical. They come in, I think... When you go on the website, I think they come in sets. I'm not 100% sure. But um, for the most part, I bought all my e.l.f. brushes individually. But as far as these dress up brushes, this is what they look like. As far as, um, you know, uh, just what, the, what they look like for the most part. And again, I got these from eBay for about 2 to $3. And I use quite a bit of their brushes. This is just a tapered highlight brush. Of course, I use it for highlighting. And this is the large fluff brush. You can use this to kind of um, contour your nose or whatever reason you want to use it for. And I also, within their brushes, I use their blending brushes, a small tapered brush. And I use this to kind of get into the crease of when I'm putting my shadow. And this is just a regular blending brush. And this blending brush in comparison, of course, to the e.l.f. brushes is a bit more fluffy. And I always use this brush for my transitions. Um, my trend for putting my transition colors. And um, yeah, this is pretty much the Jessup brushes that I use. And they are wonderful. I did not talk about this one. 
This one is just a, a short shader brush. Don't know what that means, but I just use it to pack on color onto my lid. It's great for that. And um, also, brushes, it's not a wrong, it's a, it's, it can be a right and a wrong way to use it, but with makeup, do whatever works for you. I can use this for highlighting, but you can use this for putting powder. So don't let the names and stuff get you, you know, don't let them get to you because it says taper highlighter brush. You don't have to always use this for highlighting. Just remember that that there aren't like set rules to makeup in general. There aren't set rules. Nobody can tell me that there's a rule. There may be some rules to certain things, but when it comes to makeup, do whatever works for you. But anyway, I'm off my soapbox. Those are the Jessa brushes. These are, well, these are actually the cheapest. Or they're on the same, the same level of e.l.f. But anyway, the third set of brushes that I'm going to show you are... The Real Techniques brushes, um, you can find these Walgreens, Walmart, Rite Aid, any drugstore. And um, these are just two, uh, I don't really use this one that much, but I do, this one I do use a lot. I use it to highlight and I use it possibly to just put powder. And um, this is just pretty much what it looks like. It has loose bristles, it's dense at the bottom, but it's loose at the top. And um, it's just good for, like I said, I put use it for powder. And I use it for um, highlighting. And um, yeah, the Real Techniques brushes, they come in little sets of like five or six brushes. Typically, like you'll see all of the blending brushes together or all the defining brushes together. And then you see all the, the face brushes together, like the powder brushes. And this, I think, came into the, that came in that set. And this one is, oh, it's a contour brush. And with this one, you do see um, where it says contour brush. But yeah. Real Techniques brushes, I would say this was like the third cheapest or whatnot. These brushes run about, I'll have the prices somewhere, but I think about $10 or $11, $8 to $12, I would say $8 to $12. These brushes run about, and um, the fourth set of brushes I'm going to talk about are the Morph brushes. I love these brushes um, for numerous reasons. They're cheap. Uh, again, these can run, Morph can, well, Morphe, they, they be trying to get you too. You gotta sometimes catch them on a the sale when you want them, the prices to be super low. But I don't think I've paid, ever, ever paid over $20 for the Morphe brushes. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't think I ever paid over $20. Um, I haven't been able, I've never purchased a Morphe br brush set in stores. I've always had to purchase them online. And they come, of course, with a variety of brushes, um, uh, the brush set can range. You can either get a set of just the blending brushes or you can get a set of like all the brushes, whether it's the detail brushes and the bigger brushes to where you're just dealing with your face and whatnot, like the fluffy brushes. But these are just some of the brushes that I use from Morph. Here you go. Um, Again, there's blending brushes. This is more so of a tapered blending brush. What? Quirky. Yeah, but can you just give me a minute? a small blending brush and then this is another blending brush again there's like a million blending brushes that you can use but these are just some of the brush morphe brushes that i use and um yeah some of the brushes that i use again they range from about 20 to possibly 30 dollars still not cheap there's they're not as cheap as the elf brushes or the jessa brushes well the jessa brushes have been holding on um, but the e.l.f. brushes, they're not as cheap as e.l.f., but they're very good quality. So um, I highly re recommend, if you got the money to do so, get the Morphe brushes before you get e.l.f. brushes. But again, if you're just practicing and whatnot, go ahead and get the e.l.f. brushes because those are just, you know, those could be just disposable. But these, you, you're, I'm, I've already had these for a while. I think close to a year now. I'm, I'm sure I have them longer than that, but... Yep, these were my Morphe brushes. The only thing with the Morph brushes, these don't um, tell you which brush is which. See, it's a little bit more advanced than rather the other brushes. <laughs> because typically, with those brushes, you kind of, be, they're very targeted with beginner because um, they have the names of the brushes. These, they don't, I'm not saying that these aren't the beginner brushes, but y'all get what I'm trying to say. Anyway, the next set of brushes I will be talking about are... The next set of brushes are these BH Cosmetics brushes, and they I bought a set of probably about 20. These are just some of the frequently used brushes that I use from the BH Cosmetics um, palette, 
and they have numbers on them i typically don't go by the numbers i just go by what they look like and i just use them but these ran for about i think 18 dollars 18 to 20 dollars and um i would compare them to the morph brushes uh they're a bit cheaper than the morph brushes again um, i'm gonna have the prices they're a bit cheaper than the morphe br morph brushes but um they're on the same level as when when you talk about the quality of the brush um let me think what else can i say about these brushes i mean they're just very good brushes uh yeah and you can find them on, online i don't think i've ever purchased any bh cosmetic brushes off um at like a a regular store i'm not sure what location you're in but in my location they don't have them in stores you have to get them offline and yeah i will have the links below of all the stores of where you can get these brushes from and um the last set of brushes um are gonna be these bs mall brushes these are actually cheaper than the morph and the bh cosmetics brushes these are brushes that i've purchased off of amazon and they are wonderful well yeah they're great to me i mean they're cheap and as you can tell like the bristles come out or whatever but they're they still get the job done and i use them typically for their face brushes these bigger brushes of course are like face brushes you can use either one of these brushes for foundation which i use them for i don't use these to put powder because of how dense they are and these are two blending brushes that i um two blender brushes that i kind of use frequently um i got them off again amazon and they were about i think 11 to 12 dollars 13 dollars max i believe but um yeah very great brushes um they do have uh the names of which brush is which at the tip at the um the bottom of the brush and um yeah i think that's about it again this video wasn't supposed to go too in depth about what the brushes do and how they're used just to just it was just to let you guys know the cheapest brushes if y'all want to know boom here yeah, this is the cheapest brushes and just a little bit about what i use the brushes for if you guys do want to see a detailed um video in regards to brushes and how they're supposed to be used definitely comment let me know or like this video and i will definitely do so but um yeah for the most part i think those are my top one two three four five but my top five brushes that well these are all the brushes that i use i don't i, I think it's only like two other brands that i use that are probably a bit on the expensive side but other than that these are my go-to's i use these brushes all the time and yeah so i think that's it that, that's the end of this video um like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you thought. Again, if y'all want to see an in-depth video, let me know. I will um, be more than happy to just let y'all know because um, I'm always getting questions. So I'd rather just make a video so I can direct people to see the video. And I think that's about it. Um, so I'm just going to end this right here. Thank you guys for um, watching. And until next time, later.